uh, in this tutorial we will uh, build this control here the one I've called sync and this is the one that we will use mostly for lip sync uh, as you see what this one does is it's open opens the mouse and make it makes it wide and uh, narrow and only with this uh, you don't need any more uh, phonemes to create the illusion that the character is talking. Um, you can build some others, like this ones uh, I've got in the bottom, uh, for a specific shapes that are more difficult to get uh, if, if you don't do it uh, specifically. Uh, but uh, with this one, uh, you've got all all you need to start animating and to start doing some some kind of simple uh, lip sync animations. As you see, I also built um, this for the E phoneme and this for percussive uh, percussive sounds. Uh, B M P. You have to. Uh, push your lips together and then release them release them to make this sound and F R B phoneme you have to like almost uh, bite your lip and show your up upper teeth every time you want to say a sound like this but as I said uh, this one uh, is the most important and the more the most basic of all of them. So what I'm going to do is uh, I will uh, delete all the scanning information in this model and also all the controls so you don't distract yourself too much with them. Um, so I'm going to start with a fresh scene and we'll do everything from the beginning. I will start by creating a spline square that I will use like the parent of my control. So I'm coming here, uh, geometry, splines, uh, and rectangle, drag it on the viewport, and I'm going to set its dimensions to something like 3 by 3. That's good. And now I will create a point helper, uh, which will be the control, and it's going to be what I'm going to set kids, keys to. Over here, okay, it's a bit small right now, I will scale it up, okay, and I will link this one, the point helper, to the to this one that is going to be the parent to the square. It's good to have a good naming because right now we are we are only working with one controller, but as this grows up, uh, it's going to be complicated to um, to know where's everything uh, if you don't follow any convention if you don't have a clear naming. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to align this point uh, no, not mirror, align this point helper to the base okay, align its position and also I want to align its rotation apply and now I'm going to link it to what's going to be uh, its parent. 
And by doing this, uh, right now, the local positioning of this uh, point helper is going to be zero. If I switch to parent, you will be able to see it. And as I move the parent around, the local position will stay the same. It's going to be zeroed out because of the fact that we have uh, parented the point to the square. So we also want to limit the, the position of the point to uh, every point just inside the square. And we will do so uh, by creating uh, a special position controller. You have to go over the motion tab in the right uh, and open this uh, palette here, assign controller, open transform and under position you will constrain the X and Y movement of the object by setting a new kind of controller which is going to be float limit and we will set up a limit uh, as you remember I, I gave the square a size of uh, 3 by 3 uh, so I will set the upper and lower limit to the half 1.5 okay 1.5 that's good what lower limits limits got to be negative minus 1.5 and the same with the y axis 1.5 and 1 point minus 1.5 so now I can move this point within the, the square but I can't go out and this will be helpful because you don't want your animator to be able to uh, move this square out. It's got to be a, a limit. I will also limit it in the C, in the C axis. Uh, and I will limit it to zero so that you can't go outside of the square with the point. Okay, so to start with this, I need to uh, add a skin controller, a skin modifier on top of the stack of the mesh I created, skin, and I need to add all the bones. Come over here, press add, and this is the skeleton, the cat, uh, Skeleton. I'm going to turn off display children so I can see everything in a list. I was careful to give everyone in the face a name that made that uh, that helped me know uh, where it belongs uh, only by seeing its name. So to create a new default pose, you have to press this button, this button here, under Layer Manager, and I want you to add an absolute layer. This will be your default pose. And now I'm going to add. Uh, as I said, uh, a few local adjustment layers 
this is going to be open I'm going to call this open I don't know I will rename uh, the top one to be a default okay and now I will modify I, I will enter uh, animation mode uh, layer set to animation mode yes that's right and now I'm moving all bones in the position they should have if the mouth was open. As you see, I I haven't stopped uh, rigging the mouth yet, so uh, I have to uh, adjust the weight as I'm creating the pose. But right now I will just position them more or less and uh, keep adjusting them. Maybe I open the mouth too much. I open the jaw too much. Yeah, like this, it's all right. If you want to see how it was before, uh, all you have to do is set your global weight to zero. So it's. I need to open it more. That's it. That looks good. I will move the, mo the bones in the corners of the mouth a little down a bit more alright oh, I'm going to freeze this because it's always getting in the middle freeze selection ok and this one's in the middle the middle right part okay so I'm only doing one half I need to make the other symmetrical and to do this I will create a few point helpers and I will mirror them come over here and create a point helper like we did before set on snap toggle and use these options put snap to pivot and clear all the rest and that's, that's enough and as you move your cursor over the bones you will see that they get highlighted and the point helper will be created in the exact location where the bone is uh, maybe it that was too big. I will set its size to 0.5. Okay, that's good. Another one, and another one here. And from the bones, for the bones in the middle, the only thing you have to worry about is uh, you have to set the, its uh, C axis in this case to zero. So it stays exactly in the middle. And I will get these point helpers and group them. Okay. And now uh, set its pivot 